Hi my salty pecans and welcome back to my channel if you're new here. Hi my name is Pamela and on today's video I'm going to be doing a house plant update and it is in regards to a few plants that I have mentioned to you all about either growth hopes and wishes that I have for the plants or certain plants that were not doing well at all that I actually had to behead. So now it's been a few months since all of those conversations went and passed and now we're here. So I do want to update you all with how those plants are doing, the certain ones that I'm going to show you. So if you're interested in the spring essentially new growth update for certain particular plants that were not doing so well, then keep on watching. <laughs> Before we get into the video, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. According to my analytics, most of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed. So join this little kooky family. I know you want to. I know you enjoy what I film, what I post. And <laughs> also, follow me on my other social media platforms at Houseplant, H-A-U-Z-P-L-A-N-T. I'm on TikTok, I'm on Instagram, and I'm on Twitter. So make sure that you follow me on those other platforms so you always know what I'm doing if I'm not active here on YouTube then I'm active there most likely <laughs> so yes let's get straight into the video all right so let's just get right into it the first plant that I want to mention in regards to new growth is none other than one that's missing from over here and it is <laughs> It is my second Monstera album. This one was a trade I did with Hannah about a year or so ago. And I am in love with this. I was so happy to get this beauty in the mail, to have this baby in my collection. I do want to point out that this plant was unrooted when I received it. It just had a really nice, juicy aerial node, aerial root, and that's that. So I potted it up inside of this barky well-draining sort of aeroid soil and since then it's been a struggle for me i've complained about wanting this plant to grow but i had to remember pam you got a mid-center cut cutting right it was unrooted so i had to wait for the plant to root root it did have one of the little eyes right so i knew that that's where the new growth would be coming out from. But it took about over a year for me to get this first leaf. So finally, 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 this beautiful album has decided to put out a new growth. It's first official leaf. So this is the parent plant, the cutting, and this is the actual plant itself that's trying to be an adult, right? Again, I am so happy. It took a while for all these little, you know, pieces of foliage to just like sheath to unfurl and actually put out a new growth. And I honestly can attest this growth. I'm going to give 100% of the credit to that grow light, that little purple light aura that you're seeing right now. I'm going to give the growth of this plant to that because... The moment I place that light to directly face this plant, instantly, within days, this plant, this leaf started to push out even more. And within a week, this new leaf already popped out. It's almost hard and I can already see that it's a little pregnant. It has a smidge swelling right now, so I know there is a new leaf cooking up in here that's ready to come out in the next few weeks so i'm so hyped so ecstatic so eager just so happy and grateful to have this possibility i'm going to let this plant continue to live where it is after the third new leaf i am going to attempt to stake it and i'm saying three because hopefully the second one is larger and by the third one it's noticeably larger has surpassed the height of the original leaf 
and I'm going to stake it. I'm going to give it some sort of pole, maybe a cedar stake, maybe a moss pole. I'm not too sure which method or which item I'm going to be using for it, but I definitely want to instantly have this plant just vining and trailing upwards. So that is the first update of new growth plants that I want to share with you. I am so happy. I am so happy. Shout out to this baby. So the next two plants that I'm going to be mentioning are two particular ones that I had a horrible, I would say horrible experience with in regards to pests. Both of those plants are actually Syngonium. Syngonium is definitely one of my most favorite plants to own in my collection. I've had Syngoniums for eons. One of the Syngoniums I'm going to be showing you, I've had for over a decade. So again, I've had it for quite a while and it is beautiful. It is beautiful. It is luscious. It was beautiful. It was luscious, but then the plants got thrips. I don't know again how thrips got in my home. But what I have noticed is that it's not only in my home, but a lot of popular social media sort of content creators in regards to plants have also been dealing and battling with thrips in their collection. So maybe there's just a thrips outbreak, but whatever it was, that shit is gone, dead and gone. I got rid of it from my collection and all of my plants are back to health, they're happy, and our aim is to continue to have them be happy and healthy and lush. So I battled thrips, I dealt with it. I'm not sure if I ever did a video about how I got rid of it, but <laughs> nevertheless, the first plant that I do want to show in regards to updates is so sad because as I was removing the plant from where it lived, it snapped and it broke. So. <laughs> This is the next plant that I am showing you all the new growth update for. This is my Syngonium Strawberry. I think like Strawberry Illusion, something like that. <sighs> and this is the piece that broke off. So as you all can see, there's like a just really thick really close new growth of this plant and even on the inner side you can just see i have not repotted this plant in years and i don't plan on repotting this one for even more years but yes so this is one of the plants that was battling thrips in my home it had it was really bad so i essentially just beheaded the whole plant every single last piece of foliage that was on here I cut it off, I snapped it off, and I only had just the, the vines, right? So basically, this whole plant looked like this. It was just like bare stems, just dangling, and over time, over the last couple of months, the plant has been pushing out new growth, and I've been doing my best to upkeep with watering, upkeep with watching for, you know, watching for pests to make sure there's no eggs that were once in here that have hatched and are you know poopas nature to to do my thing so this syngonium is doing so good i'm so happy about that it's so beautiful so i'm really ecstatic about this new growth and the next syngonium is my oh this is the second or third oldest plant in my home so the story behind this syngonium my first ever job was at a chiropractic office and they had this syngonium like butterfly there and this thing is in a huge pot even this whole thing I had to again behead which was really sad but it is what it is you know we, you let you win some you lose some some heads did not survive but uh, these have, I haven't been the best with upkeep of this one in regards to watering, so I'm going to get a little bit better at watering this plant. It's just so big, and it's just so forgiving that I neglect it, and I shouldn't, but it'd be like that, you know? It'd be like that. You neglect plants that you know will survive with little to no attention and care, like this plant, and I know... Before I even 
blank this whole pot will be full and bushy again i love the syngonium white butterfly it is one of my most favorite syngoniums again this is the first syngonium ever in my collection so it's very near and dear to my heart i've traded this plant i've sold this plant i've gifted this plant and it's the plant that keeps on giving literally it keeps on giving and lola even got her little mouth on a few of the leaves so i gotta keep an eye out for her but she be naughty sometimes so that is the third and honestly the final plant that i want to just show you guys in regards to update again these plants had essentially no leaves at one point that elbow was just a mid cut this syngonium was just a bunch of bare strands and so was this syngonium but we were growing plants grow like i always say let's get growing you just do what you got to do the plants will do what they have to do and bounce back it's always good <laughs> next time be mindful for me at least you know look at your plants look deeper into your plants to avoid anything that looks like soil but is not soil you know invading the entire collection but i'm happy that the plants have bounced back they've recuperated and they're trying to survive so those are all the updates i do want to mention with that being said thank you so much my salty pecans for watching this update with me if you liked it please let me know by giving it a big old thumbs up and sharing subscribe if you aren't already join this little kooky family because we're pretty awesome here become a salty pecan and don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified every time i upload a new video make sure that you follow me on my other social media platforms at houseplant everything is houseplant h-a-u-z-p-l-a-n-t and again make sure you're subscribed to my youtube channel because that's how you know when i upload right <laughs> and with that being said i'll see you on the next one let's get growing